this command line video, we're going to be looking at bash aliases. Bash is uh, the common shell that people use on Linux and is the shell that's used on Mac. And aliases are um, text shortcuts for full commands so that you can type one or two letters and have an entire command executed and it just saves you some extra keystrokes. So we're going to look at how you would actually uh, set that up and some examples of some common ones that, that people might implement. So the first thing that we're going to look at here uh, is a common example of something we might want to alias. So a command that I type all the time um, is ls-al, so I can get a detailed listing uh, of, of something in a directory. Um, really handy, I use it a lot, it can be kind of a pain. On some systems you'll see people type ll, but I don't have that command, and that's because that's just a common alias, that's not an actual command. Now if we go back up here and, and look at this actual listing, I'm in my home directory and you'll see I have this dot bash underscore profile. And that is where I'm going to store my alias. This is because I'm on a Mac system. Um, in a regular Linux system that's using bash, um, what you would probably want to do is put it in a bash rc file. So you would create a file. Um, chances are this doesn't exist yet on your system, so if it doesn't you just create an empty one by doing touch or vi. So bash rc uh, would be what you could would commonly use on most systems, and then bash underscore profile uh, you use on a Mac. It's a lengthy discussion on why, just know those are the, the file names, uh, and that's where we're going to be putting stuff. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to put it into my bash profile. Uh, so I'm going to open this with VI um, and do my bash underscore profile in my home directory. That's where it is because it's for my user. You can see I already have a little bit of stuff in here. Um, so if one exists and there's stuff, that's fine. Um, I have some stuff about paths and some git sourcing. We're going to ignore all that. If you have an empty file, that's fine. Um, and I'm going to add a comment so that the hash or pound symbol means I'm doing a comment um, so I know what I'm doing here. So this is my aliases section. And then I'm just going to add the alias that I want. So I type the command alias and then the shortcut that I want to use. So I, I, I'd like to use LL. You could put LSL, you could do whatever letter combo you want, go for it. Um, but I like LL because I'm used to that. Then an equal sign to say what does LL equal to. And then within quotes I'm going to put the full command that I want it to run. So LL equals LS-AL. Um, I'll do another one here. You can see you can just keep adding them. Uh, go down a line. Another common one that people do is they put in clear, um, which is for clearing the screen. Um, and so, you know, you want to save yourself two, two letters to type, uh, you can put in an alias for that. So I'm going to just list the aliases. I'm going to save that. And now, if I try and run my LL command, you're going to see it still doesn't work. I've added it to my, my bash profile, but the bash profile is only read when I start up um, terminal. So I'm going to close this and start a new session in my terminal, and now it will read what's what's in that that bash profile and now it'll actually work so now I do LL and it's actually running LS dash AL so just always remember that you need to start a new session whenever you do this or else it's not gonna work so let's go back in uh, and I'll just do a few more just to give you a, a sense of other things that people use this for so I'll create another alias um, and uh, this time what I want to do is it's really common if you have common typos that you make. So if I, for whatever reason, always typed so do rather than sudo, and I did it all the time, then I have to go back and retype. You can put an alias for that, and then even if you do your, your regular typo you always do, it'll work. Another thing I really like to do is to go to certain directories. So um, I have this like long path or you know how to get to a particular directory I go to a lot. So this is like my clients folder. Um, what I can do is just create an alias so that whenever I type the word clients, uh, the system will automatically just do cd the whole path and take me to that directory. And so it's just a quick way for me to get to a common place I go to all the time. Okay, so I saved that. And now if I go ahead and, uh, and type in my new alias, so I created uh, clients uh, to move, so uh, I need to spell it correctly. Um, Again, it's not working. Why? Because I haven't started a new session. I need to start a new terminal session in order for this to actually take effect. So I close that, start a new session. Now that I'm back in with a new session, 
now when I type client, well, I might need to do a typo one for this, huh? Um, you'll see if I do a PWD now that it actually moved me to the client's directory, just like that, very simply. Um, and then, uh, and I, speaking of the typos, since I can't seem to spell clients right, um, but we can look at if I accidentally typed so do, uh, and I create a file uh, as the as the root user with that. You can see I'm being prompted just as if I would have typed sudo. Uh, and if we look in here with my ll, uh, you'll see that that file was created as root. So it went ahead and did the sudo command even though I typed sodo. So those are a few different kinds of aliases you can use. And that's all you need to do to set an alias up for you is do that, create that bash rc or bash profile file. Uh, and then type the alias, the thing that you want equals the command that you need, save it, restart your terminal session, and then you have all kinds of handy shortcuts to make things even faster for you on the command line.